Hey there, Navy Doc 5184 here, and um, I'm just here because uh, today we lost a titan in the world of Hollywood. Uh, James Earl Jones, I just learned about 30 minutes ago, um, passed away, and man, you know, the word legend gets thrown around a lot when you see a lot of celebrity deaths. You know, I see the word legend get thrown around for a lot of people, but that is such an appropriate word for this man. I mean, he just was such a titan. I mean, he's one of those actors, when you hear the name, there's so many different places you can go with it. I mean, I think about the first things that come to my mind. I mean, we got Conan the Barbarian, Lion King, Coming to America, Star Wars, Field of Dreams. Just right off the bat, you can just name so many things that he was in that you remember him being in. And I mean, where does one go to really properly give this man, you know, his proper due in terms of just really just how great he was, you know, and it's, you know, it's one of those things, you know, when you think about, you know, celebrities that you grew up watching or anything like that, and you, you know that at some point their time is going to come, but even when it does, it's just, you just never are really fully ready for it, you know, and I think with James Earl Jones, you know, he was such an otherworldly figure, it feels like. He just felt so much larger than life that, you know, you kind of forget, you know, the man is mortal, you know, and at some point his time's going to come, but, you know, you just, you know, you would never get that feeling for him, you know, and it's just, where does one really begin to really describe just how huge he was? And not even just for that, I mean, I just think about, you know, just how much of an influence he you know, he probably was for African Americans, you know, just really wanting to really make it big in Hollywood, you know? I mean, I mean, again, just look at the iconic roles he had. I mean, between Star Wars, Lion King, Field of Dreams, like those are probably the top three I would imagine he's probably most known for, Star Wars especially. You know, it's definitely a sad day in the Star Wars fandom considering, you know, he did the voice for probably one of the most infamous villains in all of cin cinema, you know, not even just Star Wars just in all of cinema and you know everybody knows Luke I am your father even though technically the line was no I am your father but still everybody whether they're a Star Wars fan or not knows the line you know and only James Earl Jones could have delivered it the way that it was delivered you know and you just think about some of the other movies you know like I said Lion King you know can you see anybody else's Mufasa what about his character Terrence Mann in Field of Dreams? You know, there's no way anybody could have done that role that way, you know? And I even think about the fact, you know, I think about all these, you know, characters he plays, you know, I mean, outside of Darth Vader, but how many times do you really see him as a villain? Then if you see them in Conan the Barbarian, he was vicious, you know? It's just like, you can't imagine James Earl Jones being that vicious, but that just goes to just how great he was so very very sad news and I just really just kind of wanted to share quickly just my thoughts you know on it you know and just man man that's a that's a rough one that's a rough one you know I don't do these videos all that often you know they really have to kind of really you know get to me that much but you know this was one that I definitely had to do so um but yeah thoughts and prayers you know to the family you know and I know that you know, hopefully, um, I don't know the details on what happened. I just know that, you know, he passed. But, you know, thoughts and prayers to the family. And uh, um, rest in peace, Mr. Jones. You definitely earned the rest.